Richard and Train since last time? All right. Um, last time I had two subs with uh, with this hole plugged. Now I've got a, I got a sub here and I got a sub on the on the other end of the box. Um, these two subs belong to a friend of mine. He blew them, and while I was I, I got him in a deal for building a box. Right. And so he uh, I rebuilt them and I painted them. Okay. At the same time, so they're the same subs. They just painted. Um, it's all factory rebuilt kits now, but it's four Savard High Q12s. Um, I think I actually had sound cubes that time. I yeah, had sound cubes right. DX3s. Right. Yeah. So I switched to Savard. Um, and so I got a Terry M Smart 5K okay. on, on the four subs that I have on. Uh, got audio legions in the dashboard. That's just some emergency speakers that I picked up with the blue mounted speakers. And um, American bass on the doors, except for that door, which has also got a spare speaker in it. Okay. And then Savard tweets in the back doors. And uh, a JP123, or 234, mm -hmm. uh, four channel in on the, on the mids and highs. Uh, so, what's back there for batteries? I have a. Uh, 90 amp hour Lishan LTO bank. Okay. Uh, and it's a AutoTech 320 out there. Okay. So, any meter numbers? Uh, before I added, I just added that 412 a couple days ago. So, before I added that 12, I did 153.25. Okay. So, I have a meter since then. Okay. So, what's, what was your last meter last time with the 212? With the 212s, the uh, HDX3s, I did. Just barely 150 decibels. It was like 150.2 or something like that. I will try to find that video and link it up with this one. All right, so ready when you are, brother. I'll let this one down when you get to playing it.
all day clean like that, huh? Yeah. All day. Wow. Uh, the port's tuned at 30 hertz. 30 hertz. Uh, before I put the 412 in, it mm -hmm. peaked at 33. 33. But now it's peaking at like 31, 32. Okay. I love it. It's, got, it's peaking pretty high too. I mean, it's been a it's been a lot of testing. Though, yeah. But like I, this is like this four fifth or sixth port I built for it. So what is this box really called again? Um, I know you call it Sally, nicknamed the, Sally. The, the port is named Sally because right. you know it was designed after her right. dress and her. But the truck I call it Jack, and right. it's just themed after the Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. So, so so basically the box is just with that speaker being inside the port. I guess it's almost still just like a ported box. It, it's just a ported box. But so. well, okay, so with these just actually uh, inverted. With the yeah. With, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's really just because what was going on was I had the three subs in there. There's too much bass and too much amp with just the three subs. They right. were bottoming out. They was making noises. They was loud, but if they got anywhere out of the uh, range of their peak frequency, they would they would start to unload. Right. And so I added the four sub to kind of take up some of the power, take up some of the space. But I didn't want to take up too much space, so I went ahead and invert because that sub was not inverted. It was Right. So I flipped that one, and then I put that one inside the box. Okay. So just so, so it's about, it's about space calculations. Right. So keeping the box actually bigger. Right. All right, guys. All thumbs up. What's up?